Hey, what's up, everybody? This is James Wallace with Transit coming back at you guys with our next installment of Rhythm and Motion, our video vocal percussion series. Like always, if you have a video response, if you have any comments, if you have any feedback, just leave it with us and we'll make sure we get to it as we keep moving along. All right, so what I want to look at with you guys today are brush sounds or the sounds you would hear if you were using brushes on a snare drum in a drum kit. Now, just like with a regular drum kit, these are very effective for jazzy kind of tunes, for slower tunes that need kind of a mellow, uh, softer feel to them. And uh, this can be really effective uh, with vocal percussion, again, as with a regular drum kit, in that it can give the right feel, the right kind of pulse to the song, without really feeling overbearing, without uh, making the song feel like it's pushing ahead faster than it needs to. It can kind of help give the song kind of a laid-back, smooth feel. Uh, again, like you might like you might want to hear in a jazz tune. Um, so I'm going to look at with you guys two different ways that I make this sound. A uh, little variation uh, be between the two. Uh, but I think both can be useful depending on what you're going for uh, in, in the songs that you're doing. So the first one I want to look at with you guys, uh, I'm just going to kind of call an F sound brush. And basically all I'm doing is I'm keeping my, mouth, my teeth closed together. I'm pursing my lips just a little bit. And I'm pushing some air through, and I'm kind of making an, uh, an F sound uh, with my lips as I do it. So it sounds like this. All right? Now, if you're not really familiar with the drum kit or the brushes you would use on a drum kit, uh, what we're trying to achieve here is essentially what you hear when you see the drummer kind of rubbing the brush in a circular motion on the snare drum, and then every once in a while kind of giving a little flick to get a little hit in there. So again, it kind of sounds like this. Something like that. And again, I'm just keeping my teeth closed, pursing my lips just a little bit, pushing that air through, and then kind of making a, a small F sound or a light F sound with my lips as I'm going along. So again, let's try this again. I want you guys to just kind of repeat, uh, repeat after me, do what I'm doing, see if you can get a little practice at it. And as you become more and more familiar with it, you can you know, modify your, the musculature of your mouth how you need to to make it sound right for you. So again, what I'm going to call my F brush sound. Here we go. That's the F brush sound. I also have what I like to just call an S uh, brush sound. This is really the same basic thing, except I'm putting an S sound with uh, my mouth behind it instead of an F sound. Now you'll notice when you hear this, or at least I notice, um, it ha this has a little, a little more metallic sound. And uh, it, it can potentially be thought of as using some brushes maybe on a cymbal or just having the cymbals involved a little bit more as you're using them. But again, it has a slightly more metallic sound. And I think it has a little more, the sound has a little more presence. The air has a little more presence uh, when you do it. And so again, depending on what song you're doing, it can really be useful instead of the S, or excuse me, instead of the F uh, brush. So what we're going to work on now again is the S brush. Again, teeth are going to be together, lips slightly pursed. And again, I'm just going to use an S uh, motion with my mouth instead of an F. So here we go, the S brush. All right. Uh, it's really just that simple. The, the 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 way you start the sounds with your mouth is basically the same. Again, those teeth together, lips pursed a little bit, and pushing that air through. And again, what we're trying to achieve is the the idea of the brushes going in that circular motion on the snare, and then kind of flicking that hit every once in a while. So again, we have the F brush. And we have the S brush. All right, and again, as I mentioned, at least to me, with the S brush, it sounds a little more metallic. There's a little more presence, a little more space to the air, uh, and it, and it can give a little a little more color to what you're doing, uh, depending on what you need for the song that you're you're doing it with. So that's gonna be it for this week. I want you guys to work on the F brush and the S brush. And uh, maybe next week we'll try to put those in a pattern uh, to give you a sense of how you can use them with some other sounds and keep moving along with your vocal percussion. Until then, this is James Wallace with Transit. We'll see you next time on Rhythm and Motion.